got something special for you guys here today what is good youtube thank you guys for tuning in to another episode this is not your average sneakerhead tony ramsey today bringing you guys a, a detailed look at one of the most limited shoes of the year the air fear of god one in the armorillo colorway Before we jump into the review, uh, please make sure to subscribe down below if you have not yet. Uh, we are trying to get to 250 subscribers before the end of the summer. No, I haven't posted a video in a while. It's been really busy with uh, with work and with the kids and the family and everything. But uh, the goal is still 250 subscribers by the end of summertime. So that would be uh, September. I think we have a, a pretty good chance of getting there. And also do plan to do a giveaway once the channel gets to 500 subscribers. So please share this video. Uh, Leave a thumbs up if you like the content. Also leave a comment, let me know what you guys think about the content. That'll help the channel grow, get this review out to people that are actually looking to probably purchase these shoes if they can. And also help the channel grow to get that uh, 500 subscriber mark that I can do the giveaway at that time. So many people don't know, these uh, Air Fear of God 1 Amarillo or the yellow colorway, these released uh, on, I think it was July 21st at Complex Con in Chicago. It was a, a pretty much more of a shock drop. They did come out on Fear of God's website at 3 p.m. Also at 3 p.m. on Eastern Time on the Nike Sneakers app when Jerry Lorenzo was out at uh, Complex Con in Chicago. And if you were in the area, you were able to pick those up. Uh, luckily for me, I got mine uh, from Fear of God directly. And we'll go and get to some details about that here in a second. So as I mentioned, I get I did get mine directly from Fear of God's uh, website. And we'll go ahead and jump into some details about this uh, colorway here in a second. Uh, from my understanding, this is one of the most limited Fear of God's um, that's been out so far. Um, I did hear from my my connect that there was only 750 pairs of this model of the Fear of God one that were released and I am very fortunate to have this one here. So let's go ahead and jump into the box and go over some of the details about the shoe. So first off, if you haven't seen my other Fear of God reviews, um, I do have um, a few more reviews posted on my channel. You can check those out. I'll link those in the description down below. But from the box experience, not much difference here. Uh, you do have the Air Fear of God branding on the front of the box there. You have Nike swooshes on each side of uh, the outside of the box there. And the official colorway of this shoe is uh, Armorillo, white and Armorillo. I got these in an eight and a half, which is my true size. As you can see the tag right there. Tag is a little bit different. You do have the RFID and the, uh, the, the QR code there on the side of the box. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Now the Fear of God unboxing experience is actually really, really dope. Uh, it does have a lift up box right there. It's a pretty heavy box. You also have a Nike a quality control stamp right there on the inside of the box. Uh, they do come with uh, the usual black Air Fear of God um, dust bag right there. Pretty heavy, high quality bag. Haven't used the ones that I have in my other shoes just yet. So honestly, I don't plan to use these very often, but maybe on vacation I'll take this out with me and throw some stuff in there uh, on the plane, who knows. You also have your accessory bag here in that uh, silver foil. Like other Fair God releases, you have Air Fair God on one side. On the back of the bag, you do have the Nike swoosh. Once you jump inside the bag, it comes with uh, a set of extra long yellow laces and you also have your Nike Air Fear of God hang tag right there on one side you have the Air Fear of God branding on the other side you do have the Nike swoosh then on the outside of it you do have Jerry Lorenzo's grandfather service number and you still have the winter 18 um, branding right there on the outside of the hang tag you also get four uh, different lace locks so one for each shoe you do have yellow lace locks with the air fear god branding on them and you also have clear lace locks uh, with the same branding on them as well let's get that over to the side and once you get inside the box uh, you still do have your orange paper inside the box 
flip that over. And each shoe does come individually wrapped in that same silver paper as the other Fear of God releases. Go ahead and jump one of these out of the box. So pretty much take them out the box. So and there you have it. This is the Air Fear of God one in the uh, Amarillo and White colorway. Definitely one of my favorite releases of this model. As I mentioned in previous videos, I did have a chance to get the uh, Air Fear of God one in the summertime sale colorway. Also had the Fear of God ones in the, uh, the Orange Pulse colorway. The Orange Pulse ones were very hard for me to pull off, so I did end up uh, letting those go. But I do plan to still keep these here in the collection, and I do still have the Summertime Salesman collection as well. Those are back there on the shelf, and I'll actually break these out right now. So, you got, you got, I still do have the Summertime Sale model right there. And if you need to see that review, I'll post the link to it in the description down below. In terms of materials, uh, this one has the same type of material setup as the Orange Pulse. And I think it was the uh, Spruce Green colorway where you have a neoprene right here along the toe box. Uh, the rest of the shoe is primarily in a mesh. It feels like it's a very breathable mesh. It's not very heavy. Then you also do have your rubber cage going up the uh, outside, the lateral side of the shoe and also up the medial side of the shoe with a primarily sale uh, or I guess you could say that's a more of a white uh, midsole. You also do have your big blue air bubble on the bottom with the Nike branding, the Nike swoosh in the middle of it. That is a double stacked uh, full length air unit there. So these are actually extremely comfortable when you have them on foot, but they are a little bit of a challenge to actually get on foot. Now going up the, the shoe, as I mentioned, you do have your rubber cage there, and this is where the laces are held. You have two uh, little ropes right here for the front of the lace. You also do have holes within the cage where uh, you wrap the laces inside of. Now with the longer laces, you actually wrap the lace all the way around the shoe before you tie them with the shorter laces you just tie them right there from the front like hang if you want to pretty much make it your own style now in terms of branding on the shoe you do have a white Nike swoosh right there on the yellow rubber cage you also have the air fear of God branding here along the midsole with Jerry Lorenzo's grandfather service number that's SN8329166 on the back of the shoe you do have a yellow Nike right there on the back with the fear of God branding along the bottom there. No branding on the inside or the medial side of the shoe. Now to get into the shoe, you do have to zip it down here in the back. It's a pretty heavy duty zipper. It does have fear of God and Nike branding on both sides of the zipper. I think it's a pretty nice touch. And you do have to just zip them down like so. Then once you have the shoe open, there is this nice uh, soft neoprene um, ankle collar right here. It does have the Air Fear of God branding on it with the size hair. As I did mention, I got these at eight, eight and a half, which is my true size. And you just pull this down, slide your foot inside the shoe that way, and uh, then you should be able to get it on a lot easier. And also here on the front of the shoe, you do have a 3M strip right along the toe box right there. So you hit them with a flash, that part does light up. And when I do my own foot shot, I'll show you guys how that looks as well. Now for the outsole, it is a circular pattern outsole. It's very, very comfortable. Uh, it's really thick though, because these are primarily designed as a basketball shoe. Of course, I will not be hooping in, in this shoe anytime soon. One, because it's really high, it's really heavy. Number two, because it's a pretty limited shoe. And the retail on these is about 390, 350 to 395, depending on where you got it from. And I can't see myself hooping in a $400 uh, sneaker. So those are most of the details about this Air Fear of God one in the Amarillo colorway. As I mentioned, these were really, really limited. Uh, from my understanding, there were only 750 pairs of these that were even released. Uh, some people uh, that were at uh, Complex Con uh, hit on them. If you saw on uh, social media as well, the stock numbers for how much were available with these was all over the place. I think there was a little bit of a glitch in the sneakers app, but there were only 750 of these that, that were released and I was lucky enough to get a pair of these um, out here. So big thank you to uh, to my plug there at Fear of God uh, for uh, helping me get these in hand. Uh, it's still probably want to be one of my top three to five sneakers of the year. Um, I do love the Sphere of God model. I do not have the OG black colorway. I do plan to get that colorway at uh, some point here in the near future once resale prices drop a little bit more. But uh, very happy to have this shoe. And um, if you are on the fence about picking these up, I would highly recommend these over any of the other colorways that have dropped this summer. This will probably be number one on my list. All right, now we got the details out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy laced up, show you guys how they look on foot.
that's going to do it guys this has been my review of the air fear of god one in the uh, amarillo colorway again really dope shoe um, i highly recommend you can pick these up right now because of how limited they were the prices on these are only going to skyrocket do plan to keep this one in the collection for the long run i can't see myself letting these go simply because of how limited they are number one and number two this is my uh, favorite colorway of the fear of god so far also, if you haven't yet, please make sure to follow me on uh, Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram link down below as well. I do put most of my pickups there. I also do uh, daily outfits with my sneakers so you guys can see how I rock my shoes if you need any outfit inspiration. Thank you guys again for tuning in to my review. Catch you guys on my next one. Peace.